everyone. In this video, we will be solving system of inequalities by graphing. This is the third part. I will put the link of the first, second part in the description box below. Before we jump into this example right here, let's have a review on graphing inequalities in two variables. Okay, we remember that if we get a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we're going to use the solid graph. If we get a greater than or less than, we're going to use the broken graph. Now let's move on to the first example. Okay, so we have here this uh, two parabola here. So these are both quadratic inequality. So what are we gonna do is we are going to first determine the vertex. So in this problem here, our vertex is, I'm just gonna write that down here. So our vertex is always switch and keep. So that would be a positive one and then positive three. So if we were to uh, sketch the dot for this, positive one and positive three, it's gonna be right here. So this is our vertex for the first one. And then we are going to determine the rest of the dots by um, showing the work down here. So I'm gonna show the work for this um, here. So I gave you the trick from the previous um, videos in order that we can determine the rest of the dots here, we are going to use an equation. To, to determine that equation, we're going to cover the H and we're going to cover the K and then we change the inequality into equal sign. So the equation that we're gonna have here would be y is equal to negative x squared. So that's the leftover equation. Now from the vertex, So we are going to plug these values one, two, and three into the x. So if we have, we put in the one first, so one squared is one and there's a negative in front. So this would mean this is a negative one. That means we are going down. And then if we plug in the two right there, so two squared is four, there's a minus there. So that would be a negative four. So that means we are going down. And then we have a three, we plug in the three, three squared is nine, but there's a negative, so that would be a negative nine. So we're going down nine. So we're now ready to um, put the rest of the dots in here. So one to the right, and then we go down one. So it's gonna be right here. And then we have two to the right, one, two, and then we go four down. So one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be right here. And then we have three to the right from the vertex. Again, that's from the vertex. So one, two, three, then we go down nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's gonna be right here. And then we reflect it across. Okay, so we're now ready to determine if we are going to use a solid line or a broken line. Since this we're, we're looking at this one right here, there's no bar underneath, so we are using a broken graph. So we're gonna create a broken graph. Okay, so we are now ready to shade. We determine, are we gonna shade the uh, above the vertex or below the vertex? Again, the trick is if y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex and from the vertex, we shade above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. We shade below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. In this problem right here, we have a um, less than, so we are shading below the vertex. So we are going to shade anywhere below the vertex. So this is uh, above the vertex, this is below. So I'm gonna shade below the vertex. Okay, now we are ready to draw the second graph. Now first we are going to determine the vertex. So the vertex for this would be, um, again, we always switch and keep. So that would be, that's a negative two because we switch, that's a negative two. And then we keep, that's a negative eight. So negative two and negative eight. So the X is negative two. And then we go down negative eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's gonna be down here. Now we are going to determine the rest of the dots. Again, there's a trick to this. I will show the work uh, down here. So in order that we can determine the rest of the dots, we are going to use an equation. To find that equation, we are supposed to cover the, uh, we're supposed to cover the H and we cover the K. 
so that we are able to get an equation. So we cover also the inequality to equal sign. So the equation that we're going to use would be y is equal to, that's going to be x squared. So then we are going to create the table from the vertex. Okay, so we plug this 1, 2, and 3 into the x. So we start with 1. So that would be 1 squared is just 1, which means that since it's positive, we are going up. Then we plug in the 2 to the x. So that is 2 squared is 4. That means we are going up since it's positive. We have a 3. So that means we plug in the 3 in there. 3 squared would be 9. So that means we are going up. So then we are ready to sketch the dots. So first we have from the vertex, the vertex that we've drawn right here, we are going to go one step to the right and one step up. So one step to the right, one step up. So this is the second dot. We have two steps to the right from the vertex. It's always from the vertex. So one, two, and then we go up four. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be right here. And then to uh, determine the uh, three right, so one, two, three, then we go up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's going to be all the way up here. And so we are going to reflect it on the other side across to create the parabola. Okay, so we are going to determine, are we going to use a solid line or a broken line? Again, we um, remember since there is no bar underneath, we are going to use a broken line. So I'm going to uh, create a broken line here. Okay, after we created the broken line, we are supposed to shade this. Again, the trick in order to determine which side to be shaded. If Y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex and from the vertex, shade above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to, shade below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. Since this one right here is greater than, we are shading above the vertex. So this is the vertex, this is below the vertex, this is above the vertex. So I'm shading anywhere above the vertex. Okay, from here we can determine that the point of intersection between these two are actually this portion right here. So it's this part right here, which would be the solution to this inequality. So if we get a point that are on the red, that is not a solution to both inequalities. It's only the solution to the first inequality. And if we get a dot that is located here, that is only a solution to the second inequality and not to the system. So when we talk about the uh, solution to the system of inequalities, that means it's, it's a portion on the graph where both the red and the blue are overlapping meaning they are on top of each other. So it's this portion right here. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.